Hey everyone, it's Missy. Thank you for watching. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to share a bunch of different half of pair styles with Dutch braids. I love Dutch braids. They're one of my very favorites. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new or if you haven't yet, and let's get started. For this first hairstyle, I'm going to start by dividing off a big section of hair at the top of my head. I'm going to split this into three sections and start a Dutch braid by crossing the left strand under the middle, then cross the right strand under the middle. Now I'm crossing the left strand under the middle and then I'm going to bring in a new section right next to the braid adding it to the middle strand. Then I'm crossing the right strand under the middle and bringing in a section from right next to the braid. And then I'm going to do this once more crossing the side strands under the middle strand while bringing in a new section right next to the braid. Then I'm going to start bringing in hair from along my hairline. So I'm still doing the same steps but the hair that I'm adding in is going to be pulled from my temples and then above my ears. And then I'm just going to do two more stitches of a regular braid without adding in any extra hair. And then I'm going to go back over the braid, pulling on the edges to make it wider and more full. Now I'm just going to tie off the bottom of the braid with a clear elastic band, but on the last wrap of the elastic, I'm going to pull the hair halfway through to create a little loop. Then I'm just going to take the ends, wrap them around the elastic band at the top of the loop, and then tuck the ends into the elastic underneath the bun. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to start by creating a zigzag part down the center of the top of my head and clip away the hair on the left side. Now I'm going to pick up a section near the hairline and divide it into three sections for my braid. I'm crossing the side strands under the middle strand for the first stitch of the braid, and then I'm going to start adding new sections into the braid, bringing them in from along the part line and my hairline. So I'm crossing the right strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand. Then I'm crossing the left strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand. Then I'm crossing the right strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand as well. Then I'm crossing the left strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand. Then once the braid reaches the back of my head, I'm going to stop adding new sections into the braid and go back over the braid, pulling on the edges to make it wider and more full. Then I'm going to grab an elastic band and create the same bun from the previous hairstyle. So on the last wrap of the elastic, I'm only pulling the hair partway through to create a loop. Then I'm just going to wrap the rest of the hair around the elastic band, tucking the ends into the elastic underneath the bun to hold it in place. Now I'm going to let down the hair on the left side and repeat the same steps braiding the hair into a second Dutch braid, working along the top of my head, bringing in hair from along the center part line and from along my hairline, until I've brought in hair from above my ears. Now I'm going to go back over the braid, pull in on the edges to make it look wider and more full. And then I'm going to create a little bun at the end of the braid by wrapping an elastic band partway over the section, creating a little loop, then wrapping the rest of the hair around the elastic band above the loop, tucking in the ends underneath to secure it in place. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to part my hair in a center part and then pick up a small section on the left side and divide it into three pieces for my braid. I'm doing another Dutch braid, so I'm going across the side strands under the middle strand for the first stitch of the braid. Then I'm going to cross the right strand under the middle, pick up a new section, crossing it under and into the middle strand. Then I'm crossing the left strand under the middle and bringing in a new section, crossing it under the middle strand. And I'm just going to repeat those steps, crossing the side strands under the middle strand while bringing new sections into the braid. And for this hairstyle, the secret is to keep the braid close to the hairline while bringing small sections of hair into the braid. This will keep the braid smaller and on the back side of the braid you want to make sure that you don't bring in hair from too far back on the head. 
so the hair from the top of the head will hide these sections of hair that are being brought into the right side of the braid. Then once the braid reaches my left ear, I'm going to stop adding new sections of hair into the braid and just braid the rest of the section a little further down and then slide two bobby pins over the bottom so it doesn't unravel. Now I'm just going to repeat those same steps and braid the hair on the right side of my head in a second Dutch braid. So I'm picking up a small piece near the part, dividing it into three smaller sections and I'm going across the side strands under the middle strand while adding new sections of hair into the braid. And one tip when doing this hairstyle is to clip away the hair that sits behind the braid so you don't accidentally pull it into the braid. Leaving this hair out of the braid helps add to the effect of the little accent braids that you see at the end. And it also keeps the hairstyle looking cleaner by hiding the small sections of hair that were brought in on the back side of the braid. Then once the braid reaches just above the ear, I'm going to stop adding new sections into the braid and just continue braiding the section down to the ends and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom so it doesn't unravel. Now for the easy part of the hairstyle, I'm just going to bring both braids around the back of my head and tie them together with a clear elastic band and then remove the bobby pins from the ends of the braids. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to first part my hair on the right side in kind of a diagonal. Then I'm going to pick up a section on the left side of the part and begin a dutch braid. So for this hairstyle, I'm going to be crossing the side strands under the middle strand while bringing new sections into the braid. And I'm bringing in hair from along both my hairline on the left side, as well as from the top of my head, trailing the braid along the left side of my head. So I'm crossing the left strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand. Then I'm crossing the right strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand as well. Then I'm crossing the left strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand. Then I'm crossing the right strand under the middle, picking up a new section and crossing it under the middle strand as well. Then once I've brought in hair from above my left ear and from the top of the back of my head, I'm going to stop adding new sections into the braid and just continue braiding the section a little further down and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom of the braid so it doesn't unravel. Now I'm going to repeat those same steps and create a second dutch braid with the hair on the right side. So I'm picking up a piece near the part line, dividing it into three smaller sections, and I'm going across the side strands under the middle strand while adding new sections into the braid from along both my hairline and from the top of my head, curving the braid along the right side of my head. Once I've brought in hair from above my right ear and the braid meets the other braid on the left side of my head, then I'm going to go back over the braid and pull on the edges just to make it a little bit wider and more full. Then I'm going to pin the braid against the back of my head with several bobby pins until it feels nice and tight. Now I'm going to take the braid from the left side of my head and go back over it as well, gently pulling on the edges to make it wider and more full. Then I'm just going to lay the braid over the end of the right braid and pin it against my head with more bobby pins, removing the bobby pins from the end of the braid. For the last hairstyle, I'm going to start by dividing out the hair that is going to be braided and clip away the hair at the back of my head. Then I'm going to pick up a small section above my right ear and begin a dutch braid. So I'm crossing the side strands under the middle strand while adding new sections into the braid from along both my hairline and from the back side of the braid. You can bring in either small sections or larger sections of hair. I usually bring in smaller sections of hair at the beginning and I'm just going to work my way up the right side of my head and then continue the braid across the top of my head and you'll want to keep the braid a little bit tighter as you go just so you don't get any bumps in the braid and the braid will naturally get bigger as you go since it's getting more and more hair added into it as you go along. So 
then I'm just going to continue braiding the hair down the left side of my head and once I've added in hair from above my left ear, I'm going to stop adding hair into the braid and just continue braiding the section a little further down and then slide a bobby pin over the bottom. Now I'm going to take a small section of hair from the back of my head and tie this small section to my braid with a clear elastic band. This will hold the braid in place without needing to use any bobby pins and the hair from the top of my head will help hide the elastic band. So that wraps up today's video. Be sure to let me know which hairstyle was your favorite down below in the comment section. And make sure to click the thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one with multiple hairstyles. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will see you next time.